Hey, how's it going? So this is day two of NAM. Little recap. Uh, I was going to upload this video last night because uh, it's actually Saturday morning now. But I was going to upload it Friday night, but we stayed up too late, etc. Um, so this is a little different. We took a bunch of photos and stuff yesterday. I took a little bit of video. So I'm going to just bounce back and forth and show you um, some of the stuff that we saw yesterday. Um, and one of the first things I want to talk about that I really super dug was the Relish Guitars stuff. Uh, these things are made from like uh, all kinds of materials. There's some wood, some aluminum, the backs come off the front. You know, they're, they're really odd. They're from Sweden. And as far as my favorite stuff this show has been like, so far has been really progressive stuff and I really dig this stuff. Um, my friend Joey does all the sales for them and I really super, super dig them. Um, there was a guy playing a video uh, or a, a demo there, so I shot a little bit of that. Um, it's kind of loud in there, but at least to give you an idea of what the guitar does, it has a piezo pickup and um, like a conventional active pickup in it. So I'll show you that. I'm just going to cut to that um, and, uh, and and you can watch that. It's pretty sweet. Um, this guitar is really just kind of built that way. Okay. Um, here, I'll show you. It's a construction unlike any other guitar. Um, so it's a sandwich type deal, um, and it's wood on the outside, and then uh, aluminum core. Okay. Um, and uh, it really kind of captures. So whereas with um, like a, a Fender Thin Line, for example, um, it has the two holes that still let the sound escape, and it has that sort of like twangy, you know, country vibe. Um, this keeps it all inside and very contained. Um, and uh, there's a piezo pickup in it. Oh, um, that's where. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then the new models actually have um, a. I don't I don't know if they have them out here currently, um, but they have a uh, fluctuating piezo pickup to where you can um, have just the guitar, a mix of the two, or just the piezo. So when it's on just the piezo, it sounds exactly like an acoustic. Um, wow. Yeah, and so this, uh, really, if you put it through um, this or the, the Fishman just the speaker right there, um, it'll sound like an acoustic, but if you put it through the Marshall, it'll sound like an electric. That's what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, 
That's cool, man. Yeah, so you that's can really, super cool. It gives you a lot of options as far as like what genre you're playing in and how broad you want it all to sound. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool to meet you. My name's Dylan. You too. So the next thing that I was really, really into um, yesterday was we went to the Schechter room and, you know, Schechter has a lot of neat stuff. They have a lot of more metal biased stuff, but there was one guitar in particular and I honestly don't even remember what it was called, but I'm going to buy one for myself. And this is it right here. Um, Filtertrons and a Bigsby. I mean, that thing is super, super sick. I really, really dig that. And then the other big highlight yesterday that I wanted to talk about um, that I really thought was really cool. Um, I, you know, obviously I'm not into super conventional stuff anyway, but we went to the Fender booth and there was a whole big room. It was awesome. Um, and I want you to look at some of these colors and stuff um, in their Master Built series, in their Exotic series, and in their Custom Shop stuff. And it was really inspiring to me, obviously, building guitars to really dig what they had. Um, this custom guitar, act, this custom, well those weren't actually wired range humbuckers, they were uh, they were an actual regular style humbucker in there. Um, and then look at this thing, it has, it's like a curly maple top, like a figured maple top on top of a Strat, which is really cool. This might be one of my favorite guitars that we saw there. Um, the 2P90 Tele. Um, I don't remember what the wood was either. I was just really looking at finishes and stuff. Um, of course we get into Super Sparkles. I mean I dig Super Sparkles. I dig them and I love the binding on this guitar. I think it's really really killer. I'm not a big Nashville fan but I really dig the binding. Um, of course purple. Uh, that's a thing. I dig purple. Um, you know some of this stuff is way over the top but I really think that just because um, it's possible, it just makes you think about different ideas. Um, I really liked this 51P bass style. Um, not everybody would go for the design on it, but that's one of my favorite guitar designs of all time is that bass. Uh, you know, we just did that Shoreline Gold uh, Strat, and this is a completely different color of gold, but man, I super, super dig uh, the way they did it. The the cracking was only on the front. Um, it was on the back too, I guess, but the way the it was two different colors of gold, which is really neat. I'm also really, really into this, and I think I'm going to try to do something similar to this. Uh, Telly with the blue uh, top color and then the back natural. I really, really like that. Um, look at the finish on this Strat. I don't even know how they did it. It looks like it's like delaminated within itself and really super deep and shiny, super cool. Um, and just look at some of these other ones. I mean, this gold sparkle thing, and then there was this cool strat that had. Now, again, this is like way over the top for more you know normal people, but um, I just like to see what's possible. And the finish going all the way through the neck and stuff, uh, I really dig it. Now, this is something I really, really, really I want to try this. Um, these two guitars, so there's a blue one um, and then there was a red one. Uh, these tellies that were the Paisley w underneath a candy color, which I thought was fantastic. Uh, that is a fantastic idea. Um, another something similar to what we just built, I just had to take a picture of that, I really dig it. Different color gold, but I really dig that. Um, I'm really into the gold lately. I'm really thinking I might do uh, another gold guitar but I'd like to do uh, something something a little crazier maybe um, this is something that I've always wanted to try uh, this guitar uh, Strat as well as the Strat after it uh, in white those are opposites so you have a sunburst under black and a sunburst under white which is super super killer um, so that was just some stuff from the Fender Custom Shop I thought was really tricky. I really, really liked it. Um, and then today we're going to go back and shoot some more video, show you some more stuff. Um, but just some highlights from yesterday I wanted to show you. And I think that Relish guitar thing is really cool. Um, and then there's some other stuff that we saw that we'll get into here in the future that I think you're really going to dig um, some surprise stuff from us. So um, that's a couple of the highlights from yesterday. We will talk to you all soon.